Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to connect Google Sheets to um, N8N. All right. So basically what we're going to do is just go ahead and go to uh, console.cloud.google.com. All right. Again, console.cloud.google.com. Now, once you're in here, just go ahead and click on select a project. Now in here, click on new project. I'll wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, you're going to want to name your project. For example, uh, Sheets test all right and after that just click on create now it says here creating projects just wait for it now once it's done just go ahead and click on select project and again wait for the website to load now in here just go ahead and go to the last pane and uh, click on apis and services all right click on it now what we're going to do in here is just go ahead and go to the uh, search bar and type in google sheets all right just wait for it now this is what we're looking for, which is Google Sheets API. Just click on it. Now we want to click on enable. Now it's loading. So what we're going to do here is just go ahead and uh, click on create credentials right here at the top right. Click on it. Now, once you're in here, make sure that a select an API is set to Google Sheets API. Now, the next thing that we would want to do is just go ahead and tick on user data. All right. Once done, just hit on next. Now, for example, here, we're going to name this app, maybe an 8N test. All right. User support email right here. I will just choose the uh, default email. If you want to, you can go ahead and put your um, work email right here. Now, under uh, developer contact, the same email as well. Then just go ahead and hit on save and continue. Just wait for it. Now, the next step would be is to add our scope. All right. Just click on and remove scopes right here. Click on it. Now we would want to find all Google Sheets related scopes. All right. For example, I'm just going to go ahead and go to a rows per page right here. I'm going to show 100. So it will show all. Now what we're going to do is just find Google Sheets here. As you can see, tick on Google Sheets APIs right here. One, two, three, four, five. And we don't need these three right here. All right. So what we're going to do after that is just go ahead and scroll all the way down and uh, click on update click on it and what we're going to do next is just save it right here at the very bottom save and continue and just wait for it now the oauth client id right here make sure to select web application and the name maybe a uh, na10 test again all right and below that we have authorized redirect uris so what we're going to do to find that Go back to your NA10 right here. Double click on Google Sheets. Now, again, if you don't know how to put Google Sheets right here on your workflow, just go ahead and click on the plus sign, then go ahead and look for Google Sheets right here at the search bar. Sheets right here. All right. Once added, just go ahead and double click on it. Now, go ahead and go to select credentials. Click on a drop down and to click on create new credentials. Next, as you can see here, we have the OAuth redirect URL. Just hover your mouse into the URL. Now go ahead and click to copy, which states here. Just click on it and it says redirect URL copied its clipboard. So what we're going to do next is just go ahead and go back to console.cloud.google.com. Now what we're going to do here, just click on add URI. Now go ahead and paste that in here and just simply hit on create. Now, once done, just go ahead and scroll down and hit on done. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is just go ahead over to the left pane and click on OAuth consent screen. All right. Now, once you're in here, just go ahead and go to audience. Now, once done, go ahead and uh, click on add users. This is basically test users. And of course, you're going to test it out yourself. So what we're going to do is just put our own email right here. All right. Once done, just hit on save and wait for it to process. It's done. Next, we would want to go to clients right here, click on it, and then we would want to click on edit right here, click on it. Now in here, let's go ahead and click on this one, client secret. All right, copy client secret, just click on it. Next, let's go back to NA10 right here, and then we would want to paste that client secret in here. All right, just control V. Now let's go back and copy the client ID as well. All right, copy, go back to NA10, right here to client ID, hit on control V to paste, and then go ahead and sign in with Google. So remember, 
we have put our email right there at the uh, cloud. So what we're going to do, the same email, login. And just hit on continue. Now in here, give the necessary permissions. Just select all and hit on continue. And it says here, connection successful. This window will close automatically in five seconds and it's done. Just click on a blank space or hit on X right here as it's already saved. All right, so what we're gonna do next is just make sure that we have a uh, workflow right here. Just a sample, just a sample uh, clicking workflow that is connected to our Google Sheets. Then once done, just hit on test workflow and it's all done. Workflow executed successfully. And we'll check our Google Sheets right here and uh, refresh. Here we have our new Untitled Spreadsheet. That's basically how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps and uh, I'll see you in the next one.